I'm here at the open house in LA and it is a it's a cute house you know one thing I like about this house is the garden and she just has a lot of cool plants and I'll show you right now by the way this is me this is my setup I took off the banner that I had here only because it was too windy but yeah you walk into one of these open houses I'm hosting it and you show me you've been you've subscribed and you've tapped the notification bell I, I'm gonna give you a free JT's Lighting Team shirt t-shirt that is what I do when I'm here at these open houses is I host the open house with the agent in the event that someone walks in is interested in learning a little bit more about getting pre-approved is interested in finding out what the payment is on this uh, perhaps finding out what it takes to buy a house nowadays you won't believe how many times this actually happens where I meet families here that have decided that they want to buy a house which is step number one and go looking at properties that are open and I mean there's a there's a big drawback to that right number one you don't know how much you qualify for number two you're subject to getting heartbroken you're out looking at properties in the six seven hundred thousand dollars and by the way true story right family decided they wanted to buy a house they're out looking at properties come across a property they absolutely fall in love with the agent asks them have you been pre-approved they say no they then contact a family member that's in the business which I happen to know and happen to work with he calls me has me call them have them get pre-approved I put them through the process run credit take the application take a look at their income qualify them they qualify for much less than the properties they were looking for they go out looking at properties that they qualify for and they don't like them you, you want to avoid that at all cost you truly do number one time number two you don't want to get your heart broken last but not least you don't want to get your hopes up if you're out you're visiting open houses I hope I run into you guys so that I can inform you and I can walk you through the steps of what it is to buy a house nowadays and ensure that you guys take the proper steps so do the right thing get pre-approved get informed find out how much you qualify for and you want to do that with me Hey everyone, so open house is done and it was not the busiest open house. Um, we had one person stop by and he asked me a question. His question was, I bought a house with my daughter and her husband. I now want to buy my own. Can I qualify him? And so the answer was, well, it depends, right? I mean, I've got to take a look at your income. I've got to take a look at your credit. And supposing your income checks out, supposing your credit checks out, yes. We'd also have to find out what role you played when, you're, when you purchased that property with your daughter and her husband, 
were you a co-signer like who's making that payment etc etc I took his information and I'm personally gonna be calling him going over his financial situation um, and identifying whether we can help him or not I look forward to helping him and hopefully we can do something for him I'm waiting for mom she went to Leon, Guanajuato Mexico to go visit or actually to go spend time with my Thea my Theo passed away he rest in peace and so my mom went to go spend some time with her and she's back I was in the area so I volunteered to uh, pick my mom up from LAX look how often do you see that and it is loud I tell you all right so we dropped off my mom, my aunt too, they're back, the flight was good, no problems, no delays. I'm now on my way home. This is the in and out I worked at, this is like my first, first legit job. Like when I got my social security, when I became legal here in the United States. So my first job, I used to do the fries there. I, I got as high as level three, but then I got promoted to graveyard. <laughs> I don't know if that was a promotion or demotion, at any rate. Leaving the office just now, I'm actually stepping out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go meet with a referral partner. Um, in his office but I I've got to tell you the appointment I had earlier this morning here at my office which if you saw uh, a couple of vlogs ago I was it, it was raining I was on my way to meet somebody um, it at the Starbucks by my house at about 9 9 30 ish and that and that borrower didn't show up uh, because it was raining so um, Borrower showed up at my office today. This time, uh, we made, we we scheduled the meeting in my office. We had briefly talked over the phone, and I advised um, them not to file their taxes just yet until we met. Um, we met, went over some numbers, and we're on the same page. Everything checks out. I've given them the green light to file away. They're going to do that. They, mind you, they had been to a good two to three different banks, including big banks. Um, if applying for a home loan, they were denied every time. It mentioned that they didn't file enough income. And they knew that, that was the obvious. The only problem here, right? And they did bring something up. The lady said, Juan, I knew that, I knew that was I knew that my income perhaps wasn't sufficient because I have a lot of expenses, etc. That was the obvious. And every single bank told me the same thing. Every single loan officer told me the same thing. But the difference between you and them is that you actually offered a solution to my problem. And that's the key, guys. We, as loan officers, offer just about the same thing as everybody else. There's really in today's market no loan product that's gonna make one bank stand out from the other in today's lending world right now, right? It's one thing or it, it, it's a handful of things that can make us different. It's providing value, being problem solvers, our communication, just to name a few. If we can't get that down, if you can't get that down, it's gonna be a tough, tough year. You can go anywhere else. You'll probably get a mortgage. Right? It's easy to come by. Easy to come by loan officers. It's hard to come by people that can give you solutions to your problems. So look, if you've been somewhere else, if you've been to a different bank and they've already told you no, if you've been to a second bank and you've already been turned down for a second or third time, look, don't give up on your dreams because somebody else told you no. Give me a call, reach out to me, uh, or reach out to someone on my team. 
we're gonna take care of you. There are no problems. There is always solutions. It is a very good time for you, buyer, of course, if you can afford the payment, right? Like I've always said it, but more than ever, properties are staying on the market longer. I was hanging out with Lewis. He's an investor. Mm -hmm. The guy said, I'm worried. My properties are taking longer on the market. They're taking over 30 days. I'm used to selling my properties above asking and in seven days. And yeah, a lot of people are used to that. It's that's a normal market. It's not normal to sell top of the market properties above asking in seven days. That that that's just not normal. Property selling 30 to 60 to even 90 days is a normal market. And so when you see that happening, you know a couple of things. Number one, it's a normal market. Number two, you're not buying properties above asking price. Number three, you're buying the property at, at a fair deal. Last but not least, you have more room to negotiate as a buyer. In some cases, you can bring the price down. In other cases, you can bring the price down by asking the seller to pay for some of your closing costs. And we can talk about what that means in a different vlog. Um, everybody that subscribed over the weekend, thank you so much. The shirts are on their way. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Please uh, hit that notification bar as well. Subscribe, please like, and tell, tell a friend about it. Thank you. See you tomorrow.